Hiya everyone. Today I'm going to be doing something that I don't think I've done for years and that's I'm going to do a question and answer video. Right, so on me Panacea 81 Facebook page I asked a question, well, what would you like us to answer? Because loads of people have got so many questions and it's really hard to answer because there's so many. But I've got a rundown here of what I'm going to answer and yes some of it's juicy for you because I know you want to know what's happened. It's very hard for us to talk about though, so I might get a bit, I might get a bit emotional. Hence, no makeup. But I might not. We don't. I don't know. It, I, I've got to be honest. A lot of it I have buried and I haven't dealt with. But and I feel quite nervous now. You will hear gurgling, and it's because I'm busy fasting. I've got about. Well, I've gone past me eating window, so I'm fasting again because I think it's really good for you but I'm starving so I'm going to have another hour or so and probably after I've done this video I'm going to go and eat a lush omelette because I am starving but anyway right so we're going to start with some of the questions and I'll give you a shout and I'm going to do a shout out video as well because I have to say right I started in 2007 I think it was and um I'm glad I never put any makeup on. <laughs> I started in 2007. And lots of things happened, as you know, because he's followed us. And then something happened, and a lot of you knew that I wasn't right. And I couldn't see anything. And I'll get to that in a bit. But I couldn't tell you what was happening. Because I wasn't allowed. Um, and you know what? I can't thank you enough for staying all the way through with us. I know a lot of people dropped off and I don't I don't feel bad about I don't feel upset about that because I never put the videos out that I should have been doing at the time. And you you can't wait forever. But for you that have, I can't thank you enough. I really can it. Yeah. I'll get that out of the way first. But anyway, Let's get on because I've got quite a lot to go through here. So this might be a long video and I've been playing on makeup because I've got a video coming up for you with makeup on and I shouldn't be crying in that one. <laughs> I hope not. Right, okay. So I've got the first one. This is the boring one. Well, it's not the nitty gritty because I know you just want to know what's going on. But Jenny Martin on Facebook, she says, what is your job at the moment and do you still work with makeup? My job at the minute is I'm an assistant manager at a tile shop and I've got to be honest I absolutely love it and it's because I don't feel like I can fail anybody and that might sound silly but sometimes I feel pressure like I'm not enough or I'm not doing enough and it sounds silly but the job I've got it's really monotonous as in it's the same repetitive you know what you're doing you don't really have time to think You've got to be on the go all the time. You're lifting heavy things. You've got customers coming in and out. I love talking with people. And I love it sometimes you can spend an hour with the customers. They're asking your advice. They're asking my advice and it's things that I know about. I know all about the tiles now. I know um, about which ones go with which. All the adhesives. and I, I just know what I'm talking about now on a lot of things there. And I love it because they're coming to me for my advice and I feel like I'm needed. I know that sounds silly, but I feel like I'm needed and I know what I'm talking about. So there's a little bit of confidence there. Um, and I just love the customers, the traders, the, the just, you'll get people come in and they want you to help design their bathroom, kitchen, dining room and all that, that's amazing. And, and because I love colour and being, you know what I mean, creative and stuff like that, I just love it. So I really, really love what I do and I can't see it changing for a long, long time. I've got no wants to just leave. I love it. So I've gone full time now and I'm an assistant manager and that's really, really good. I, I love my job. So that's what I do at the minute. I still do makeup on here, not as often, um, but if you follow my channel, you'll see that I do put them out. I've been a lot more regular lately, um, but I'll, t I'll tell you why. Yeah. Anyway, the next question, let's have a look. 
Um, we've, right, we've got two here. I'm really going to try my best and get to yours. So, okay, this is going to be what you want to know, the juicy nitty gritty. And don't laugh if I cry again because I haven't dealt with this. I haven't dealt with it at all. Okay, so, Lizette Guzman on Facebook, she asks two questions. What, we, what you were doing during the time you transitioned off YouTube for a few years after a major height in your fame. I remember the makeup line, the brushes, Sephora tour and US. So that was one of them. What was I doing afterwards? <sighs> right. Well, the time that I wasn't on YouTube, having a bit of a nervous breakdown, suffering massive for panic attacks and anxiety because of what happened in... It's hard to explain. I think sometimes you can put too many straws on someone's back and then they just break and I think that's what happened to me. Um, there was lots of... I was in a contract on YouTube, uh, not on YouTube, sorry, for my makeup line in the US um, and I've got to be careful what I say still because I don't want to make anyone feel sound bad but I was badly managed, I wasn't looked after in the slightest and if I'd known now what, I, what if I'd known then what I know now I would never have signed that with them, that company um, I was signed up for five years and it was to make makeup with them only I couldn't go and work with anybody else I had to turn other companies down which was horrible because they could have led us something better but I was badly managed and I signed a contract for five years which was very um, one-sided. I thought I all the makeup palettes. I didn't receive any royalties. There's, I think they're still selling now. Not in Sephora. They sold in Sephora for quite some time, and there were so many sales. I don't know what the sales were. I wasn't kept in the loop on that, but uh, they did sell. There was money made, and I never saw any royalties. I was paid five thousand pounds to start off with when I first signed up with them, and I. Th and back then that was like wow really exciting um, and I wasn't and what's annoying is I'd gone to see a solicitor um, on where I live um, and he quickly signed off saying yeah yeah that's a good deal because he wanted the money the payment for it because it was going to be shown on the BBC because the BBC did a documentary with me as it was all starting off um, shown how it's going and what's happening and uh, so he just wanted his fee quickly to be on the sh to be on the program even though I don't think it was shown in the program but he wanted a fee quickly so he went yeah yeah it's fine you can sign it it's a good deal he wasn't thinking straight I wasn't thinking straight and I've got to be honest I, I was very innocent and gullible back then and I didn't have a clue I'd, nothing like that had happened to me I was in my bedroom one minute doing makeup videos and then the next minute you've got a makeup line on offer for you you're going to go for it aren't you um, I just wish I wish I'd wish I'd knew I wish I'd knew because I would never have signed it I spent a lot of my time up until that point having fun in my bedroom doing my makeup videos for you um, I was regular, regular content, I was happy, I was just in my element, having fun with makeup. And then, I've got to be honest, I, were, I loved going to New York, don't get us wrong, I loved the whole feel of it. They did do a lot for us in the sense of getting us on TV, uh, in a lot of press and stuff like that. But I have to be honest, a lot of the deals that come my way, that actually come to my inbox, and if I'd known how to deal with them correctly back then, I could have made a lot more money and been a lot more comfortable and not, not have been taken for a ride. Um, well, it's hard. It's hard to say, but it's, it's. I think sometimes you want to believe in someone that they've got your back, and I don't. And, and I learned the hard way, and it all contributed to me having massive anxiety. Um, I was so upset with what had happened and learning that th things weren't going to be changed. I'd signed my name away for five years and that was pretty much my shelf life on YouTube. Um, so I'd signed my name away. The, I realised there was nothing going to be happening with the makeup palettes. It was dead. I'd, I was so upset. I couldn't even think straight. I had massive anxiety. 
I wasn't feeling well, probably because of the stress of it all. I just didn't understand what was going on back then. Um, and I spent a whole year practically, in fact it was two years, I'd gone back and forth to New York so many times. I never got paid to do all that. I could have been here doing videos. Um, so it took a lot of time away from what was really important, which is, this is the biggest regret I've got. You, 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 you're going off on this belief that everything's brilliant when it's not. But anyway, um, I ended up fighting to get my name back so I could make me makeup brushes. The fine letters have my name for my makeup brushes and I went and got them made and they were an absolute success. Um, they sold out really well. However, at this point, I was in a lot of debt. I had to, had to hand the keys over for me home. I lost me home. I had to hand it over and go and rent. That was hard. That was really, 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 really hard. I felt like a massive failure at the Jordan because I wanted to feel like I was important and special for him. And that was really hard, so I had to hand my keys over and say, I can't cope, I can't keep the house up. I went into Rendell. Um, and, I, and I had the dogs at the time as well. That was another question. People wanted to know about the dogs because I had lots of Pomeranians. And I used to love, absolutely love, having the puppies running around. It kept me happy. Just loved it. But then... What happens is you have to rehome them and that was hard because you come across some horrible, horrible people out there who lie to you and tell you all sorts just to get your puppy. You don't think this but they do. So. And then I had a lot, well, I had a couple of dogs die and it's, it knocked her sideways. It added to me stress. It was awful. I had a lot of heartbreak still can feel it in here and I don't like talking about it at all because it hurts too much um, so I keep that to myself and I don't talk about it and I don't think about it I literally just bury it because it's hard um, I've got two girls left um, I had to rehome a lot of them because me and my ex-partner split up and got myself a lovely little house here this is the best home I've ever lived in because it represents like a new beginning um, and I've got the two girls, Cagney and Mia, they're gorgeous um, and they'll stay here with us but I don't want any more because they're just too much heartache. I'm going to get off the awful stuff now because it, it's upsetting but um, yeah. So someone asks will I ever bring the bushes back? I would absolutely love to but they cost a lot of money to get made cost a hell of a lot of money and at the time I had that money to be able to do so I don't now so I don't know I never say never but I really don't know I'd love to be able to I'd love to be able to be in control of my own makeup line actually be in control because I wasn't in complete control and that was awful when someone's you're creative and it's taken away from you but there was a there was a lot going on like I says I can't can't go into it too much but uh, yeah the I, w I got hurt I got burned pretty badly um, and that's why I didn't come back on YouTube much I couldn't handle it I couldn't face it every time I did a video I felt horrible anxiety sick shaky it was horrible I still get like that sometimes now actually because it's like throwback like a it's just like a I don't know what it is it's like a trigger of it's not it's not good but at the same time, I absolutely love doing what I'm doing and I'm in a happier place. And I've got all this makeup and I look at it and I get so excited and I want to go like the old days. And So yeah, that might sound a bit silly, but I love I love makeup. I love being creative and so I find it easier now. But there was a time where I just couldn't face it. I've got to be honest, I couldn't face coming on here because it just reminded us of everything that was going wrong. And I couldn't tell anyone about it. And a lot of you had said, Lauren, you're not yourself. I know there's something wrong. Can you tell what? And I couldn't tell you. Um, that contract lapsed a long time ago now. But I just feel like, well, what was the point? Because the, it, it got to the point where it um, it stole a good proportion of the the fame, if you like, on there now. So, yeah, what's the point in having your, your name back for makeup? when you're not 
getting the views that you used to get and it, it's all it all hurts but there's nothing I can do about it Um, yeah there's nothing I can do about it so I just try not to think about it I bury it but you've got to get on with things haven't you so anyway the second comp cause uh, I'm going to leave the other question from Lizette not being horrible but I need to answer some other girls and if I get oh yeah right hang on we've got this one here my Lena Gok oh I'm not sure I'm going to have to just show you hope it's shown up might not this one here I'm really sorry if I haven't, I haven't said your name right I feel terrible my question is how to believe in yourself again and make that you love if no one supports you do you know what it's a perfect question for this video because you have to believe in yourself because no one else is going to and well people do but you're the only one that can make things happen you've got to if you've got something that you're passionate about and you love doing you've got to run with it and you've got to let nobody get in your way because you'll only resent and regret I know this um, and I find that if you enjoy doing something and you're passionate about something the beliefs are already there you've already won so just run with it and stick with what your heart tells you um, yeah I would say that so Faith Bainey, do you miss the old days of YouTube? How do you feel about your makeup and brush line now after all these years later? I've already answered a little bit of that. Um, how do I feel about the YouTube and the beauty community now? I haven't got a clue. I'm so out of the loop. Um, it's been absolute ages since I've really looked and watched videos and um all I can tell you is from what people have wrote on my video and that there's a lot of drama now and I know it's not the same as it used to be I do believe when I first started it was innocent there was no money involved it was it was pure and it was innocent and it was creative and it was having fun and it was sharing what you loved it still is that now but I think for a lot of people it's very money driven and I think when money gets involved, it's hard to trust. And I think that's what's happened. I think a lot of people, a lot of people want to trust, and it's hard to when there's, um, oh, like, paid promotions. Um, oh, lots and lots of uh, yeah. I'm going. I'm not going to. Get, I'm not getting the words right, am I? Um, I think when money gets involved people get catty, people get jealous, people get um, nasty and there wasn't really that when I did when I was on YouTube years ago it was very um, I don't know if you did something really good yeah you'd get the person that would bring you down that always happened I remember I used to get picked on quite often through the beauty community and it was because I didn't I wasn't professionally trained I was an amateur but I loved doing what I did on YouTube and because I was sharing it all and they hadn't thought of it first they were quite catty and quite nasty and I took a lot of that heart and backed off and I shouldn't have done and I suppose that's the difference in fact that's the difference with what is around on YouTube today um, I didn't want to step on anyone's toes so I did back off a lot from things because I didn't want to upset people or get in the way but what I ended up doing was opening the door for people and then they stampled all over the top of us because they don't feel bad about getting any getting one up on each other or um I think people who are business minded are always gonna succeed. I wasn't very business minded um and you kinda get left behind. You do you do get left behind. I also hated the idea of using yous. That might sound funny, right? I know it, it does, but I didn't like I didn't like using yous. If I didn't like something, I didn't want to lie about it. I wanted to tell you, look, I'm not keen on this. And I, and I just suppose I didn't get as far as I could have done because I didn't. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
I've got to be, because not everyone's like that. There are some, but not everyone. There's some amazing people on YouTube, and I'm not tarring everyone with the same brush. But I do know that I've read comments, and a lot of you have picked up on it as well, that there's a lot of it on there. Yeah, so I suppose it's changed in that way. It's very business orientated now. Where it wasn't before, it was more innocent and creative. But I tell you what, there's some amazing makeup artists on here. Absolutely, the skills. God, I'm so jealous. I'd have to, I'd, I have to, I'm pretty much just starting all over again. And I just, I, yeah, I can't do makeup, but I can have fun though. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Will you do makeup look for women who is almost 50? That was Amy Blakewood. Yes, absolutely, I will. I'll do some research first because it's not right at the front of my head because I'm not sure. It's been that long since I've even done makeup for my age. But I will do some research and I'll, I'll do a video for you. Right, what else we've got? Uh, do I think I'll ever have a makeup career again on YouTube? And that was Lauren Brown. Honestly, not a career. But I think I'll always be on YouTube because I love, love, I love that we've got this bond, even though I don't know you or see you. And like I said at the start of my video, I can't thank you enough for still being here. Because there's been so many times where I haven't been here. And if you come into my channel and, oh, she hasn't uploaded, she hasn't uploaded, you're just going to get disheartened and go. And I wouldn't blame you. And the fact is I've stayed. I kind of, I really love that about YouTube. And yeah and you've made us feel so welcome and I've got a channel here and I'll probably always be here but I don't know if it'll ever be big again I think that time's gone but you've just got to roll with whatever you get given don't you right so um, how did you become interested in right Madeline Heward how did you become interested in makeup and how did you decide on trying YouTube videos right this I became interested in makeup when I was at school because I wanted to look pretty I used to get called ugly fat tramp um, I used to get called quite some nasty names yeah and and even though I got called all them horrible names I wasn't sure of boyfriends but I still didn't take that as a, a compliment I thought I was ugly fat and trampy I listened to the girls so what I did was I put a load of makeup on and it made us feel really good. So I started wearing a lot of makeup and I think that's where it all come from. Plus I used to watch my ma my grandma, sorry, my mum never wears makeup. My sisters do a little bit but back then there was no one to watch do makeup except for my grandma. She used to put her makeup on every day in the mirror and I used to watch her and just stare at her and wow watch this face come together. Because without her makeup, sometimes, because it was a shock, you always seen her with her makeup on and without it she was pasty. Sorry grandma. But she was very pasty and you got a shock at how bright and light her skin was with all, all this makeup on. So I used to love watching her face come together and I think that's where it all came from. That's how I knew what I was doing anyway. So I started putting my own makeup on and I even did it at her house actually. Because I used to get picked up from me, from, by my friends from her house and I'd have all my makeup on. So, that's how it started. Then I got into selling it on, U on uh, eBay. A lot of you will know this already if you followed us. I used to sell makeup on eBay. And I quit my taxi job because I didn't want to work there anymore. It was horrible. And I was making a really good... I was enjoying myself on eBay. Um, I made videos alongside the products to show you how I'd done certain looks. Because everyone was like, oh, how have you done this? I love that. Because instead of just a normal picture of a pot... I'd put that, I'd keep a pot for myself, put it on my eye, do something magical with it and then take a photo of the eye so you knew what you were getting. And there was no, there was no listings on eBay like that at the time. There really wasn't. I've got to be honest, I'm really chuffed to see I was one of the first to do that kind of stuff. And then I got on YouTube to show you how I did it. And, and it went, and then I think, this is another thing, this is annoying, this is so annoying. And this, I'm going to give you some advice here. This is what I've learned, but I think I've learned it too late. Right, so I got on YouTube, everyone was like, wow, I love these videos, can you do some more? Okay, brilliant, I love it, everyone wanted more. And I did um, a Leona, someone said, can you please do Leona Lewis Bleeding Love? Did Bleeding Love video makeup look, and it went absolutely stratospheric, it was just massive. 
didn't have a clue what was going on and it was like wow everyone i mean the views on that video are millions people are getting millions like that now in one day on youtube now but back then it was massive um and it was like wow i didn't even have a clue and then loads of people were like will you do britney spears will you do um oh selena gomez what's the other one oh come on come on lauren use your brain it's because i haven't eaten you know um it'll come to us it will she's really pretty brown blonde hair come on no it's gone <laughs> carrie underwood um kim kardashian loads loads of different taylor swift that's her it's lovely looking right so everyone wanted them looks so i did them looks for years and then stupid me someone commented you're only doing these looks so that you can make money on your videos and i thought e i'm not and i hope people don't think like that so i stopped doing them meanwhile all the other beauty gurus well not all the others but a lot more of them were doing all the celebrity looks and running with it and, I, and then that's the advice i've got to you don't let people put you off if you want to do something do it i'm not kidding i felt awful i thought whole people don't think i'm just doing it for that reason so i stopped doing it like a divvy and i uh, yeah and everyone else ran with it so yeah don't let people put you off if you want to do something do something <sighs> yeah right next one how's your son doing this is sam bridio bridio I, I hope yeah i'm so sorry um, yeah, how's your son doing? I've been a fan since those early days as well and I'm glad to see you post my videos again. Thank you. Jordan is doing fantastic. Jordan's 21 and he now works at Subway and he loves it. Um, he's actually just got called in today so off he went to work. But um, yeah, he's really, he's really good. Really happy, healthy, slimmer than me. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> I think he weighs less than me. But he's, he's really good and he's good as gold like he, he said to his mum I don't want you having a wine I want you to look after yourself have it on a weekend you know um, and he's good as gold because he went through a phase where he was getting a bit of acne and he was like I'm not having any more cookies I'm not eating any more shit I'm going to be good as gold and he has I've got to be honest hands up to him I don't know where he gets his willpower from because it's not of me he's fantastic um, when I'm at work he'll hoover and clean the house he looks after the dogs while I'm at work. He he oh, he's just he's a gem. He's an absolute gem. And I think and it's I know even if he was a horrible monster, I'd still feel like I wanna be all protective and wanna look like a star in his eyes. But I think because he's such a good one and he loves us to bits and I felt like I didn't want to let him down. So it really gets us when i feel like i have but he he does say how much he's proud of us um and and i don't think he understood it all back then and when he when he because because he, he was in the bbc program and he was like uh, i don't want to be in it and he's apologized profusely for that because he was young and didn't know he's like i'm really sorry for being like that for you ma'am i didn't want to let you down um and he we're just he's just good as gold he's fantastic i couldn't ask for a better son and consider when i had him when i was 15, 16 16 i was one of the one of the i feel like i was one of the first for everything i feel like i was actually one of the first ish young mums because they, they weren't really around you know now there's loads of young mums but i remember i really stood out at the playground but anyway i, I couldn't ask for a better kid yes um yeah definitely couldn't love him to bits um and i and i know he's proud he is proud of us and he'd do anything for us. Do you know, he keeps saying to us, what do you want for the house, ma'am? Because I'm working now. and Because um, I don't like taking rent off him. And I know I should probably get another habit of doing that. So he's prepared for later life. But I just don't like doing it. I don't like doing it. He's just started working. And I want him to enjoy himself. And I think because he's always thinking of us, I don't like doing it anyway. So I'm like, okay, I'd like a crock pot. <laughs> that does sound sad. But he's going to buy us a crock pot. <laughs> Oh bless him, he wants to he wants to spoil us with his wages. I mean come on, who's who does that? Who does that for their parents? Couldn't 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 ask for better. So yes, Jordan is doing absolutely fine. And he still likes his computer games, he loves keyboards. Um yeah, 
yeah he's, he's good he's very good right Amanda Brown Jensen what eye looks are your favorite do you like bright and bold or neutral and smoky I used to love bright and bold now I'm more neutral and smoky and I think it's an age thing and I don't like I don't like um, drawing attention to myself as much where years ago I was like yeah get it on come on let's let's like have like light up eyes and stuff but yeah I'm not I like to keep it a little bit more low key now but I still love I love messing on with colour I just would I go out in the house mm, don't know don't know I definitely go out in the neutral and smoky not so much the bright and bold but I'll still if I was with actually if I was out with someone and it was night clubbing and stuff yeah damn right I would Damn right. You only live once. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, right. Okay. Paula Taylor. I love your videos and brushes and are amongst my prized possessions. Thank you very much. Which YouTube makeup artist do you follow and which has influenced you the most? Influenced me the most. Right, okay, I follow loads, uh, X Barkage, Purse Buzz, Encore Makeup, um, Mischievous, Michelle Fan, these are all the ones I remember. I've got to be honest with you, I deliberately don't you. I deliberately didn't watch other gurus' makeup videos and I'll tell you why. Because I've got a terrible, terrible character flaw. I compare myself. And comparison is the thief of joy. And I always thought if I watch what they're doing, I'll not concentrate on what I'm doing. So I didn't watch anyone. Um, Candy Johnson, she always been lovely to me. I love the Pixie Wood Girls. I would say the Pixie Wood Girls. There you go. I talk with Sam often. I do watch their videos now and again. I think they're both stunning. Um, and Candy Johnson is like, she's like a whole other person. It's mad. She's got such this personality that just shines out. She's lovely. And um, yeah, I think Candy Johnson and the Pixie Wood Girls, for sure. I'm trying to think if there's anyone else. There was a few, you know, that I used to watch, but the didn't they don't do any more videos I don't think there was Matthew Francis he was lovely I'm sure it was Matthew Francis he was one of the ones I started with early on and he did all the makeup looks and I think he went to work with Disney Disney started working with him and I don't know what happened after that someone else asked me that by the way where he went because I loved watching him he was so innocent so so lovely and I thought he was beautiful he did some amazing makeup looks I tell you put me to shame um try to think is there anyone else i can't i'm not really offering you much am i i tell you what i will look at a couple of videos and then tell you if i like any because i just don't watch anyone it's terrible but i deliberately don't watch anyone because i didn't want to make myself feel bad like oh god look at them they're amazing i have noticed that a lot of them have um and i don't know how they do this but the uh videos look airbrushed like literally the whole video looks like they've airbrushed it and it's so smooth and the light's perfect and then when they zoom into the eye there's not a hair there's not hair out of place the skin's immaculate and flawless I've never ever 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 been able to achieve that my lighting's askew with me my video camera's lopsided my makeup gets flung all over the place and my eyebrows they're revolting because I, I pluck them but you wouldn't think it it's like there the next day I don't have skin like these girls and I don't know how on earth to get it I did hear about is it my good blade or something where they shave I ain't shaving my skin I'll tell you why because I've got a hormonal imbalance polycystic ovaries that'll be my luck if I start shaving here yeah, I'll have like a furry beard across my eyebrows so I'm not doing that no way Jose I see them doing this or something you know anything <gasps> no definitely not I'd end up with like a caterpillar carpet no 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 so I'm gonna have to just you're gonna have to put up with my videos the way they are sorry yeah right let's have a look Lola Dunman I followed you since video number one 
I have a couple of questions that other fans commented as well. Primer, concealer and base for mid-30 girls. I definitely need to do a video on concealer and primer because, yeah, your skin does change. It's a lot different how it used to be. So please bear with us, Lola. I will do a video on primer, concealer and bases for our age girl, our ages as well. Yeah, I will do that. And what happened with the Pomeranians? Yeah, a, a lot of heartache. There was a lot of happy times, a lot of cutie wooty times, a lot of heartbreak. And it, it's somewhere, it's something I don't like talking about and I bury it because I don't, it, it really get upset when I think about it. It's awful. Right. Would you go back to doing tutorials on videos? This is Shannon Belanger. Yes, I am. I have been doing some videos on YouTube. Um, a some makeup lucky dips, some just random looks. I've even done some art. There's a bit of everything. I just put whatever I want out, I've got to be honest. But I am doing videos again. Yeah, so thank you for asking. Uh, Emmanuel Charles. I feel like I've kind of already answered your question about what's my thoughts on being a past YouTuber. I'm sorry, there's lots of people that have kind of overlapped in their questions. But she says, I followed, she's, she's, sorry my English is terrible. She's French. It's not terrible, by the way. It's really good. And I've followed you since the beginning and I've learned makeup that from your videos. So I really appreciate that lovely comment. Um, Sue Gregson again. I seem, are you, are, you, are you planning on doing any videos, tutorials? I have been doing, um, I have been doing my videos and I really hope you get to, to look at them if you get the chance. And she says congrats on your promotion at work, so thank you very much and it meant, meant a massive thing to us to do, to do that. Oh, yeah, right. Katie A, hey Lauren, what are your thoughts on ASMR and would you consider going down that path? I haven't considered it, but if you've wanted it, I'd look into it and give it a go. I know someone mentioned when I do do that the lucky dip videos. They said that they are very SMR because I'm going into pots and I'm moving stuff. Um, I don't understand much about it apart from it's a noise and a head orgasm thing. Don't laugh. Is it head orgasm? So like. Is it, you know when you hear really beautiful music and you got like the hair sticking up on the back of your neck, is it like that? Because that's very nice. And if I can create that for you, I shall, I'll look into that. Right. Nancy Barnhill, do you have a cat? No. Never had, oh yes I have, I have had a cat years ago. My mum had a cat called Gizmo. And he was a very right smelly beast. And he was a, a right, he used to, um, we used to have a rabbit called Thumper. She was beautiful, she was a golden rabbit with floppy ears. And she used to sleep inside one of the, the children's doll pram thingies. And Gizmo, the pervert cat, used to get in and sit on top of her and ride her. And when he got out of the pram, off her, she used to have a hole in her fur where his lipstick had been. And she she didn't like him. So no, I won't have another cat again. I'm not I I I, I won't have any pets again. They're too much heartache. And I think when you when you're a worrier and let's see I've got more comments yes I have when you're a worrier you just need some time away from things like that so that's all the questions oh Kitty Welter have you tried magnetic eyelashes if so what do you think of them I have used them um, I used Lola lashes I think they were in a previous video I didn't like them at all but then again I might have been using them wrong I don't know I feel unfair to say that because someone says I might have been using them wrong and I might have been I'll give, I will give them another go but I just found the liquid very messy and sloppy um, and the lashes didn't stay on for me so I'm not keen I'd rather just do it the old fashioned way um, yeah oh there was one more question and it had been it popped up on YouTube on a, a few occasions and I actually blocked that person because it was starting to get on my wick a bit and I'm not usually one for that, I just ignore it because I get millions of lovely comments and that one one, it kept, because you know how years ago um, I, I, did, I got porcelain veneers done because um, I had two, the two front teeth were buckled so I got porcelain veneers done um, and they were in a lovely straight line um, what was that, what, 10? 
50, I'm, I've, I feel like I want to say 12 years ago. I don't know. They've been fantastic. I've had no problem with them. However, I stopped smoking. And when I stopped smoking, my gums changed. And, and now I've got a gaff here. So I look proper goofy. So I've got like a front gap up there. And someone kept saying, oh my word, what's happened to your teeth? They don't look so good. I'm really sorry they don't look so good and they offended you. But I can't do anything about it apart from I'm going to have to go and get a brace maybe to bring them back together. Because yeah, it just appeared. Like over the course of six months after packing and smoking, literally, I've got a gaff. I don't know, but my gums are in a much better place now anyway, so I'm so glad I packed a small gun. I can't believe I did it when I look back, but yeah. Anyway, that's why my tooth is gappy. So I'm really sorry that my gappy teeth offended you, but you're gone now anyway. And if there's other people out there that think that, well, just don't look at my mouth, because then it's better all around, isn't it? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> anyway, right. I hope I've answered your questions. Believe me, if, you've, if I've missed you, I'm open to more, so send some more questions. I've answered the hardest ones. Um, yeah, so if you've got any more, send us some, send us them in. Put them, put the, put a vid, uh, put a comment in the video below. I'm going to do a makeup look now, and I really hope you enjoy it. I wanted something with a bit of glitter, so this is all I'm going to show you. And I hope you enjoy the next video. So thank you very much. Zoom, zoom.